Becoming a mother forced these girls into leaving their childhoods behind. Rosalba gave birth to her first child when she was only 13 years old. It was a really harsh experience. I didn't want to. Mariana is the result of rape. A year later, Christian was born, and 15 years old, Rosalba had two children, barely an elementary school education, and had been abandoned by her family. Rosalba and her children were left unprotected. Nobody asked her if she wanted to have the baby or not. It was abuse. It was an abuse that broke her life and broke her innocence. Rosalba and her kids have been living at the Casa de las Mercedes shelter for six years now. It is the only shelter that accepts mothers and their children in Mexico City. Casa de las Mercedes is... Casa de las Mercedes is my home, my family right now. But to me it is everything, just like my kids, because this is where I get all the support. I even attend school. The shelter provides the girls with food, psychological assistance, pregnancy guidance and help to graduate college while their children go to school. We are able to cut off that chain of abuse, this chain of mistreatment, this chain of indifference. Now we see professionals, successful women. Reports show that Mexico has more child mothers than any other country in Latin America. Every day in Mexico, 30 girls under the age of 15 give birth. That means that 10,000 Mexican girls become mothers every year. And in 2020, 9,876 girls between the ages of 10 and 14 gave birth in Mexico, mainly outcomes from sexual violence and abuse. Yet, Casa de las Mercedes has been successful at addressing many of the consequences girls typically face from gender violence. They teach us how much of a warrior they are, their resilience capacity. We are only here to accompany, love them and guide them. In the meantime, Rosalba, who is now 21, dreams of graduating with an accounting degree so she can provide a good future for her two children. Paulina Gomez-Bulchiner in Mexico City, U News.